hello guys! It is New Year's Day, Eve-ish. It's two minutes till New Year's. Till, till January 1st, oh god! And there are fireworks, I feel like I'm in Fallujah. You can kind of see them in that corner there. There, see? They're illegal! It's here, as they generally are. And my neighbors are, uh, are doing the illegalities here. Well, it's New, it's New Year's Eve, it's the 31st still. Um, okay, we're, we're at a minute, minute to New Year's. He has no freaking idea what's happening. He's very confused. Yeah. What's happening, man? I'm doing New Year's alone because I couldn't meet up with my friends. And, yeah, I'm kind of lame. It's not for Zozos. Zozos can't drink that. Happy New Year! With the Rockettes. And yes, Happy New Year 2013. It's going to be much better. Happy New Year! Champagne. Champagne. Here. Oh, oh, we didn't like that. What was that? What is it? What is it? <laughs> he doesn't like it. Happy New Year, everyone. Oh, oh, he's wasted. Did you fall down? Wasted puppy! So yeah, this is the first vlog of 2013, so... Yay! Don't you look comfortable? Oh, oh. I see. No cameras. Since it is the end of 2012, hooray. I'm just gonna summarize what I did in 2012 because it helps me actually feel like I did something this year. 2012 weekend! I started out in 2012 in Romania, had the new year there, was with my grandparents, did lots of things. And then I had to finish my senior year of college in Switzerland. And during that semester I lived with Polly and it was great. And we did lots of sort of exciting things. I, I got my ears pierced here and here. And then for academic travel, as part of my school, I went to Cyprus and learned a lot about Aphrodite and Turkish Cypriot Gur. And then I ended up writing my thesis on it, which was the other part of 2012. The thesis writing was like all I did that semester. I swear I had to write a, a very long thesis. It was like, I think it ended up being like 70 pages without citation. I don't even remember now because it was it was painful and I, I've blocked it out of my memory. After Cyprus, Polly and I went on a sort of mini tour of We the Kings concert shows. It was, we went to, first we went to the one in Milan, Italy, we drove there and we saw Danny and we kind of got a flash of Travis and I met Coley and I said his name wrong because I was starstruck and I said a bunch of little mumbly things which I edited out. Then we saw them again in France in Ecbolsheim which has the weirdest name ever for any sort of French city I've heard of. That is where I met Charles Trippi and basically everyone except the people we had met previously which was kind of weird in a sort of a slightly stalker way, which we didn't really intend, we went to Zurich and saw them a third time. In the span of four weeks, we saw them a third time. And that was, what was it, I think it was called Loud Fest or something? Like After that one, we like saw everyone and it was kind of cool and we kind of chilled with them, or at least Polly and I felt cool because we felt like we chilled with them. If you ever have an opportunity to go see We the Kings, you should totally go see We the Kings. Cause... Oh, and then like right after that, the next day after I'd driven from Zurich back to Lugano, I went with Laura to go see Langskamine, like direct democracy. So it went from like concerts to like political awareness. Um, so we saw the Langskamine, which ooh, I didn't know it was going to be that crowded and I thought there was going to be more sword throwing, which I think I mentioned, but there was no, nothing, like, they just had the swords, they didn't, like, stick them up. I thought, thought voting happened with your sword. Vote that in the next lines of mine, that we vote with our swords. Although dangerous, it should happen. And then, sort of, like, right before I left Switzerland, I decided that I have to climb one of the mountains around Lugano, because everyone does that, and I hadn't done that, because I'm not really an outdoorsy, sort of, let's go hike a mountain kind of person. 
But I was like, there's no way that I can leave here and not do it. So Polly and Greg were nice, and they dealt with my lack of physical capability, and they hiked with me up Mount Bolia, and that took a whole entire day, and we were completely exhausted afterwards, because for some reason we thought we didn't need food, I don't know. But after that, I finally graduated, graduated with the bachelors, yeah! Then I had to move out, and I left Polly, and I went with my parents on a short sort of drive about France and Italy and Switzerland. And on the way, we were miraculously very lucky, and we got to see two really impressive things. We got to see the Cannes Film Festival, the 65th Cannes Film Festival, which just happened to be there, and we happened to be able to, like, drive through where all the celebrities get off at. You know, they're like, the cars, they drive through this special, special area, and then the celebrities come out. Well, we drove through that little special area, and then, the next day, when we were leaving Cannes, we got to see the Formula One Grand Prix in Monaco. We heard it, and I happened to have my like awesome telephoto lens, and I saw the car, and it was that big, but I saw it, and you could hear it, which was really loud. And then, sadly, I left Europe, and I came back to Anchorage, and was very bored with my life. So I decided to go visit Polly in Venice, and spent a lovely week with her, and, and did like Venice-y type things, which even at the most like rudimentary level are exponentially more exciting. And then I went to San Diego, which I will never do again unless it's for the Comic Con because I hated it and I lost my camera. So that happened in 2012. I lost my camera with like two days worth of footage on it, which was terrible. And then I came back from California and I did a whole lot of nothing. So to buy the time, I bought myself a fish and then I enrolled in paralegal classes so that I would have something to do. I got a car, which is very exciting because it's my first car. Then things started winding down and I didn't really do anything that great. I spent time with Kim and Ellen, but they have jobs and whatnot, so not a lot of time with them. The last thing I did, I think in October, I went to go see Jerry Seinfeld live, which was a big deal for me. And I did post a video, but it was taken down due to copyright infringement, although it was just a couple clips and they were all like 10 seconds long. I got a strike on my account, and I'm sure Jerry Seinfeld himself was very angry and disappointed. But anyway, I want you to go see Jerry Seinfeld. That's all you get, because apparently YouTube doesn't want me to tell you more. And then the last thing that I did worth mentioning in 2012 was I adopted a puppy. He's really cute and kind of a handful since he's still learning stuff, like not to bite. And he's the cutest puppy ever, and you should follow my videos to see more of him, because it's just kind of me and him. And so that was my 2012. I know it necessarily wasn't that exciting, although there was a couple bursts of excitement with like going to Cyprus, going to concerts, going to California, that was fairly exciting. This video is intended for me to understand that I actually did something in 2012, and sort of like a out with the old, let's go to 2013. And see. I hope you have a lovely 2013. And I hope this video wasn't too long. If anyone's watching, write what was your most exciting thing in 2012. I want to read about it. So to the like two people that ever write in my comments, write that down and get other people to or something. I don't know. I need more people so that I don't feel as crazy.